Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and today I've got an unboxing. So let's crack this guy open and see what we have. Now, by the way, um, this wasn't initially on my list, um, just something I thought about, and Prime Day showed up, and I got an email. I was actually out um, overlanding, and Prime Day showed up, and the email said, hey, you got $10 credit today and tomorrow only. So I thought, well, what's on my list? Well, I looked up my my um, shopping cart where I've got odds and ends saved and I had this sitting in there and I thought, well, let's check it out. Plus, this actually had a, um, a price reduction notification too. So I'm into the, the different Vera um, handles for their drivers and their bits, so I thought I'd try one of these out. If I can open this guy here somehow, I guess I might have to cut it. Get out my scissors. Vera does have good packaging. Let's see, what do we got? Goodness, there we go. So let's take a look. What this is, is the, um, it's a KK25. It is a, a bit driver with bit storage in the handle and an extendable and removable um, and retractable um, bit shaft. Uh, typical Vera stuff. I could, there's Velcro, so you can Velcro this to your toolbox or something like that. Let's take a look. Strong Velcro inside there. Little pouch. That's it. Um, so this is it. Uh, it looks looks bigger than their ratcheting handle. It's probably understandable. It says you can see that press. When I press this, what happens supposedly? There we go. Is the opens up. Like it does in the picture. So there we've got three slotted and three Phillips. Um, snaps down. This here, I assume, releases it. Yep. So there is a little snug. Okay, it pops out easy. Um, hmm. There we go. Whoops. So that's this comes out. Now I've got a smaller one. I don't know if that, so that actually fits in there too. Um, it's got two indentations, so that must be the two settings. So if I drop it in there, yeah, that's one, and then slides here until it gets to that second lower one. I um, wonder if that spins at all. No, it's all solid. Good. Anyway, quick um, to pop it out, but an extra click down here in order to release it. Probably to keep it from flying across the room. I wonder if I can do that. No. Nope. Uh, anyway, if I hold it down, I probably can. Yeah. So this is uh, going to enter service in my stable of um, driver handles, bit driver handles with bit storage. Others that I have, one of my favorites um, that I used actually recently, um, I tricked it out with some of my favorite most used um, bits. Most of these are snap-ons. Um, whoops. Anyway, and this actually, uh, I like the handle, but this is the full extent, so I would need to insert another driver extension onto it if I wanted something longer or more traditional, kind of like this. Um, I've got snap-ons. Snap-ons have the interchangeable bit, or shaft, excuse me, and that requires, you know, a, a, a separate quarter-inch, almost proprietary design um, with bit storage in the handle, but they're just dumped in there. Um, I was digging around, I found this old Craftsman I had. I got this forever ago, and this particular one, 
um, uses these um, the shafts in uh, a carousel design. So you slide them out and then center them and drop them in and they're magnetically held. But if you look at the design here, all it is is a, uh, a square shaft or a, a pentagon, I guess, five-sided shaft, I think, is that hex? They might change. Um, but anyway, this particular one, it's, it's done well. It's Craftsman, made in the USA. I don't know, I literally got this many, many, many years ago. I mean, you're starting to talk 20 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, I don't know. Um, works well, obviously, if you bust a, a bit or screw up a tip, the whole thing's over. Uses this uh, rotating mechanism to both lock and release the bit that you want. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd give this uh, Vera a try. I like the handles. This one actually gets a little big. Obviously, there's a size uh, comparison I can do. Um, I do like this one. That one's fairly large. In fact, it feels... Let's see if I can find my old... Um, there it is. <clears throat> my old ski handle. Uh, this thing, uh, some people had commented about it. Um, this says Vanden, or Vanden, made in uh, Germany. Um, and this is actually a number three posi drive. This is for installing ski bindings. Um, I used to be a ski tech many years ago. Um, but anyway, it's uh, obviously a very similar design. Um, this is all hard, no soft spots or grip. Um, Vera does use harder plastic and then uh, some gripping surface, whereas PB Swiss has a just lightly, very lightly um, grippy plastic. Uh, Craftsman, super hard, and Snap-on, super grippy. So we got everything here to play with. But anyway, I'm in interested in using this, um, and I've got plenty of Vera bits, bits, so I'm using them for all kinds of things now. See how this lasts. Looks pretty durable. The mechanism, not sure how the releasing part works. Might take it apart and see. But anyway, if you're interested in one of these, it was selling for 33 bucks on Amazon. It fluctuated between 36 and 33. It was down to 32 something, I think, when I ordered it. Um, minus the 10, actually 33. So I got it for about 23 bucks. Um, which isn't bad considering it comes with the with the Vera bits. Um, so I've got six bits there, and then um, the just the driver alone is about twenty bucks if you were going to buy that. So um, not a bad deal. Um, it's interesting that they don't make an extension ratchet one, but um, I could use those two together if I wanted, or of course any of the others to play around. There we go. If you're interested in one, um, so far, looks solid. And with that, Doc out.